Hi everyone, Jen here with High Bailey Technology Consulting. And today I'm going to show you how to close a period in NetSuite. So to get to our period checklist, um, our list of periods, go to set up accounting, manage accounting periods. This will show you the listing of all accounting periods and what their current status is. Um, older periods will automatically collapse as you come in here. Um, you can always open them up and and close them. Um, this is our icon for uh, actually getting into the checklist of uh, items that we'll want to run through before we actually close a period. This indicates whether the period is actually closed. And these items indicate the areas in which um, actually have been closed. So uh, right now in our June period, none of the modules have been closed. So let's go into our June checklist. So you have the ability to lock AR, AP, and everything at different intervals. Um, in a One World account, you will have the ability to lock uh, subsidiaries at different times. So you um, you can pick specific ones um, or mark them all and close them. Another option is, you know, you're ready to close all modules and all subsidiaries. You can just click lock all. And that ended up closing um, AR that was open and, and everything else. Um, the remaining items will differ depending on what modules you have in NetSuite. So if you don't have inventory, then you wouldn't have any of these inventory checklist items. If you don't have One World, you wouldn't have any intercompany adjustments, etc. So you'll have to click on each one of these items to review, resolve, um, you know, anything that does come up, and then you'll go back to the task, mark it complete, so do that for each one of these. You should have, so any one of these you could, you know, click into and see what, you know, what's going on with them, but for this purposes, we'll just mark the task complete. These are all things that NetSuite believes are tasks that really should be completed, should be reviewed, you know, very thoroughly by um, an accountant to ensure that everything's good to go. So the fact that I'm just clicking through um, is not best practices. And if you don't have multiple currencies, you won't revalue. Um, you have the option to revalue currencies. There's two more. And any one of these um, items you can um, you know, go into help or go into Sweet Answers and you know just copy and paste into Sweet Answers if you have questions on you know what what is what is this process going to do and that should give you some good information. So I'm now completed all of my tasks except actually closing the period. So this will not allow anyone, including an admin, to make changes in the period. So now, as you can see, everything's been um, closed. The only thing I have left to possibly click on is to close, which would reopen the period, and I'd have to provide a justification reason. Okay. Reopen the period. Um, all periods subsequent uh, will be reopened. So if you have something many periods ago 
all of the subsequent periods would be reopened. We're just kind of acknowledging that that is going to happen. Um, under notes, I can see, you know, when and who um, closed a particular checklist if they did open or, or close the period. Under user notes, I can see, you know, the reasoning behind that. Um, sometimes periods can get busy with opening and closing. And then if you have something, you know, inadvertently posted, could be, um, you can figure out, you know, who opened the period um, and why to see if maybe it wasn't inadvertent. Go back to our list and we'll see that June is now showing as closed. So that is how you close a period in NetSuite. As always, if you have any questions, our team is here to help. Just click on the link below to get in touch. Thanks.